Hey everyone, I'm Lauren from My Something Beautiful Life, and today we are going to set up my weekly happy planner for 2024. I actually started recording this already and forgot to put my microphone on, and so the sound is pretty much worthless for at least that little clip. Luckily I didn't get too far, and I still have the video clips, so I may insert some of those in here as we go through so that you can see what I was doing. So I have a few supplies here. Over here in the corner, I have some note paper. I have the half page checklist and just some random lines and I think some grid paper. I also have some dividers and this pocket that I wanna put in there. And then over here I have these stickers, but I actually decided not to use these. This is the part I started setting up and then the audio was bad. And so they're still sitting here, but I'm not actually going to use these. I ended up using these dot tip markers from Erin Condren. And I'm really gonna keep this pretty simple, and so there's not a whole lot to put in it. But I wanted to show you how I'm doing it, and then at the end we'll flip through it so you can see just what I plan to use for 2024. So the other thing I have is this show yourself kindness. What is it called? Be kind to you or be kind to your mind. I think that's it. Be kind to your mind planner. And so I'm actually gonna take some of this one out and put it in the back. So we'll do that at the end. But that's kind of my basic plan for it. But this should be a pretty easy setup. All right, so in the front, I have a couple sticky notes. Whenever I have a new planner that I'm setting up, I always like to write out what I need on sticky notes and just put them usually in the planner where they're actually gonna go. And I do have some in here too, I think that I can show you. But these were just some general ones for the planner. And so I just decided to stick these on the front cover so they were there and I would see them as I was setting it up. And pretty much both of these are just the papers that I showed you over here and the dividers. And this is the page I started setting up. I just wanted to put in the days that we don't have school. I actually work in schools. And so I wanted to keep track of when we don't have school and when like the big breaks are. So you can see I used the dot markers just to mark a few of those days. And I only have the calendar through June and so I can't really add anything past that. So it was a pretty easy setup. So the days that are in the, like the tannish color, those are days when there is no school and the purple ones are like extra things. So this is a personal development day and then this is the last day of school. So it was pretty, simple. There wasn't a whole lot there. So here's my little sticky note that just had the dates on it. So I'm going to take that out. Okay. And then moving on. Okay. So this is my favorite spread. I love this layout. I'm not actually going to fill this out today because what I mostly want to put on it is birthdays for people. And that's just personal information. So I, I'm not going to share that. So I'll fill that out at a later date. But just to let you know, that's how I plan to use this. Just to track any birthdays and major holidays. And then here you can see where I started to add my sticky notes for how I plan to use these pages. This dashboard page, I wanna use this take note section just as my monthly brain dump. For the priority section, I will probably use it for goals or something similar to that just to give me a reminder of what goals I'm working towards. And then, I don't know, this will just be whatever it turns into, just a little extra note section. Monthly calendar, I mean, it's pretty basic how I'm going to use it what you would normally expect on a monthly calendar. Any appointments, events. I might put bills on here and I might put my content calendar on here too. I haven't decided if I want to include both of those. Just because I do have other planners that work for each of those. I have a budget planner and I have a content planner. And so I don't know if I need them on here. But on the weekly page, I do plan to use this section for content. And so it might be helpful to have the full monthly schedule on here too. So we'll see how that goes. And then I put in these post-it notes just so I can remember how I plan to use this page. So on this little schedule that says Monday through Sunday, I was thinking I'd probably use it for meal ideas. I also might use it for like exercise, either an exercise tracker or to plan what I wanna do. That's definitely one of my focuses for 2024. And so it might be useful just to have something health related here. On this side, this is going to be my weekly to-do list. Just anything that comes up, I will put it here. Anything having to do with church is gonna go in this important box. Looking ahead will actually be anything that's going to happen the next couple of weeks that I need to be aware of. And then, like I said, this is going to be for my content schedule for that week. Just so as I'm looking at my week, I can plan out 
what I need to do for the content, like when I need to film and edit, things like that, just so I know what projects I'm currently working on so I can put them into my schedule for the week too. And if you wanna see a full flip through of this planner, I did a review, I guess it's a review, mostly just a flip through. And so I will link that video up here in the cards if you wanna watch that. So I'm not gonna flip through this in great detail, but I do want to start bringing in some of these dividers that I got. So, okay, so we're just gonna do what I already know. So this folder is gonna go in the very back because that's where I would look for it. I always seem to keep my folders in the back and so that's just what I've come to expect. And then I have these two larger ones. I think this one is going to be the one that I use for the self-care planner, which is what I'm calling this. I know that's not like the technical version of Happy Planner that this is, I do have a flip through of this as well if you wanna see that one, but I think this is going to be the divider for this. So I'm going to put it right here at the end and then we'll bring that month in. I'm only gonna do one month at a time, I think. Maybe two, we'll see how big it gets. Cause I have the note paper too that I want in there and I don't wanna bulk it up too much, but I do want to keep all of these beginning pages. So I'm gonna grab those and at least January. We'll start with January for now and see how it goes. That's kind of too many pages to be pulling out at one time. I should have done it. There we go. Much better. Okay. So we'll move this one back over here. And then these pages are going to go up here. So then all of that will be together. I don't wanna Franken plan too many planners together. Like I'm not going to put my budget planner in here too. I mean, never say never, but I have no intention to put my budget planner in here because I like having my budget all in one spot. And I usually have yearly budget pages that I want to keep with my monthly budget pages. And so rather than just move all of that over, I will probably just keep it in its separate budget planner. That's pretty much what I'm used to now. And so, we're just gonna go with that for a while. If we need to change in the future, we can, but for now, I think it should be fine like that. Okay, and then I put this other divider in. This actually has a side tab on it, and this is from Inkwell Press. I got these a little while ago, and they're just simple, clear dividers, but I like that it had the tab on the side, and so I'm going to use this for my notes pages. I'm actually gonna take out one of these for now, because I'm going to put that in my month, I think but let's put these note pages in and I'm probably gonna have to do them in sections. I forgot like how few pages you can put in at one time. We'll see if I can do all of this. Yeah, that's doable. Oh, that one stuck a little bit. And then we'll grab some of these cause I know that whole pile is not gonna go. I do like how easy it is to take pages in and out of Happy Planner. So I'm hoping that this system does work well for me. I don't know if I want all of these in there. I want to have a lot of them accessible. I really like to-do lists, and so that's what I plan to use these for. But I'm worried that if I have too many of them in here, it's going to, there's gonna be a bump right here as I'm writing, and that's gonna drive me nuts. So I don't want too many. If I can just take out a couple more. And then I'll just leave these off to the side like on my desk or something and then I can add more in if necessary. And then we're gonna go back to January and I'm going to put this in here. I like that they're half sheets so that I can still see around them. It makes me, I don't know, it just makes my brain feel happier. Okay, so that page is in there. And then I have these two like smaller bookmarks. So one of them I definitely want on my week and I think that's going to be the heart one. So we'll put that one in here. I really love my dividers and I actually don't know where a bunch of my Happy Planner ones went. I know I have like a whole pile of them somewhere and I could not find them when I was looking for them. So these are the ones I found, so they'll do just fine. There's enough for what I need. And then I think this one is going to go in the back in the wellness planner, self-care planner. I don't even remember what I'm calling it. We'll put it right here on this first week. 
Now, who else is like super happy that January 1st is on a Monday? That's just like so satisfying. Does it drive anybody else crazy? Like when the weeks are kind of broken up a little bit, like especially at the beginning of the year. It's like, I don't want to use my new planner on December 27th. It's not the New Year's yet. Besides the fact that I usually don't use a planner much at all during the week between Christmas and New Year's. I feel like that just tends to turn into a free-for-all. Anyway, but yes, it makes me happy that January 1st is on a Monday. Okay, so now let's go back to the beginning. See, so that's basically it. Like it made it a little thicker having a few extra pages in there, but it's still not too bad. And I'm really excited to start using this for 2024. I think it's gonna go well. Okay, so at the beginning, the only thing I wrote down in it was these dates. I will do more planning in here when it's closer to time, but it's still fairly close to the beginning of November. I think we're about a week into November. So I'm not ready to write anything in January yet. Then we have these pages and the dashboard and the monthly with my extra to-do list. The weekly with the bookmarks so I can find the page easily. And then of course just the rest of the planner i mean that's all the same i didn't do anything in there but then at the back we have this tab that opens to the wellness planner this tab that opens to the week and then this tab that opens to the note paper in the back and then my folder at the end so that's basically it like i said i really wanted to try to keep this simple I have so many planners that I'm using. I really just have to keep all of them as simple as possible and keep them tied to what their purpose is. Honestly, it's even kind of a stretch for me to put pieces of this planner in with this planner and we'll see how that works. I may have to separate them too. I was never a very good Franken planner when I was using Happy Planner before. I don't do very well at mixing planners together. I like my individual planners, so we'll see if it works then that's fantastic. I can keep it all in one book, which is what I'm hoping for. But if I start forgetting that it's there, I'm going to have to pull it out and keep it in its own book. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like planner videos, I would love it if you considered subscribing. And thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.